when somebody cannot get three square meals. So there is tendency for him to be influenced by somebody or by an ideology. Guys, we just call do others. If you join us, everything that you need is guaranteed. So that's the lineup of people wanting to join them. And what are their promises? When they get to them, they get food. A young man that cannot think of marrying, of marriage in, 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 for some time, they get young lady in, in the south to marry. All these kind of things. So, you know, why, why, but if the, if the system is taking care of everybody, no external ideology can influence the people. Minorities in general are just an easy target for anybody's discontent. So whether it's discontent around poverty or whether, as we've heard, it's discontent around self-esteem or access to power or whether you might have a voice in the world, whether you have any kind of attention, you know, that's, that's where, you know, it's, it's scapegoating, it's an easy target. Groups like the EDL and the, the first as the foot soldiers, <laughs> they're, they're the ones that can push the boundaries and, and push our comfort levels. So now we tolerate more now, more hate speech, more discrimination, more persecution than we could five years ago or ten years ago. Now there's more, more and more language is acceptable that wasn't before. So they, they push the boundaries. And they're, they're almost using, weaponizing, I guess you could say, both democracy and freedom of, freedom of speech in order to get rid of freedom of speech. Because we no longer hear that medium voice um, where, where real conversations can happen. It's always at this, this, this heightened level.